Good evening, good evening. This morning it was announced that Ed Sheeran is coming to South Africa. Woo! <laughs> he's like, I love that guy. He's so white, he's almost translucent. I love him. Uh, well, it's about time he came around. I mean, he could use a tan, right? Anyway, this weekend, Ed Sheeran had to stop his show in Wales because he had to pee twice. Now, it's either Ed has a weak bladder or he drinks too much water. If it's the latter, whoever's looking after him when he comes had better serve him cold drinks or alcohol. Because we love you, Ed, but we love our water even more. Pella, we don't want day 0.2, ne? Speaking of bodily fluids being released, what's the deal with the outrage around Brazilian soccer star Neymar crying after beating Costa Rica? I mean, leave the man alone to cry. There are men who've cried harder after scoring in the bedroom. Nobody judged them. Even me, I cried when, when Senegal and Nigeria gave my man more of a reason to keep watching the World Cup. I mean, if you have a soccer-loving husband, you, you know my pain, right? You feel me? I mean, come on, even us, we have needs, huh? Sheesh. We have a sizzling show for you today. Chantel, St Chantel St uh, Stanfield and Marianne Barlow are in the house. But first things first, uh, Dad Len, what's the WTF of the day? Well, good evening, Mzanzi, and I hope you've had a great Monday so far. The WTF of the day today to me is win the footwear, because the BET Awards were this weekend. Hard luck to destruction, boys, and Casper in your vest. We still love you, dogs. Big up to you. However, big up even more to Sjava on winning the Viewer's Choice Best International Act. Listen, hopefully, Sjava, with this win, you can just maybe, maybe afford a nice pair of shoes. Please, man. Because, I mean, you know, we feel that you, you deserve it, and I think your feet deserve it even more than that. Borna, Kiris Java is a national treasure. In fact, I was looking at that outfit and thinking all his ancestors were present. He had to win this thing. Now it's time to welcome our first guest. She's an actress, a singer, a writer, and a dancer. Ladies and gentlemen, Chantal Stanfield. <laughs> Please grab a seat, <laughs> madame. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I love how she knows what's up. She's like, I'm gonna make my entrance, I'm gonna spin that wheel, and Glenn is gonna serve me a drink. How you doing, young lady? I'm Fab, how are you? Lovely. What's she drinking? Uh, well, I, 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 it makes it only makes sense to suit your drink to the song, so I've made your drink, which is suited to your song, which is the same as your song. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing there. That's <Shit's> funny. <laughs> wow. Enjoy it. Don't drink it all at once. Lechaim. <laughs> okay, then ha ha, we've had a laugh. Okay, I'll go to a real drink. <laughs> what uh, is she drinking, seriously? Uh, this, is a, this is a drink named... Uh, in fact, uh, before I give this to you, Chantal and I just worked on a commercial. We can't say what, but there was a cat mm. involved. And, uh, and uh, it was all going very well until the cat actually... Nipped me. I've got scars. <laughs> Battle scars. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand this. So it's, it's only 10 o'clock. We've just started and the conversation's gone to pussy. No, no, like, no. Like, we've just started. It's not, like, that like, is not. Guys, that is, we haven't even warmed up our seats. <laughs> that is not what we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an angry person. Mm -hmm. mm. But welcome, my darling. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you for having. honoring the invite. In fact, we're going to start with gotcha. As you can see, mm. the bottle landed on gotcha. And what happens here is you, you are going to have to deliver a pickup line that's been used to you, on you, but you have to deliver it in a cape-colored accent. Oh so this no. is your moment to be as offensive as possible. <gasps> and uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. But yes, we want you to use that. That's been used to who? You. To you? Or to, to me or to Glenn, whoever you want to use it on. Okay. Ma, for people in Cape Town, if, it, if it's offensive. Glenn, did you have I want your lip approve. <laughs> For real though. Wow. Like, I like really? that. The, how did you feel? Were you, are you blushing? Are you interested? Yeah, my lip is so lacquer. Wow. <laughs> you, you just finished now on your play, hey. Yeah. It's Kuxistas N. Say it? Kuxistas? It's from Kuxistas. Kuxistas to Knedlach. Because I know it's a very, it, it, it's very specific. Yeah. To, to Cape Town, that yeah. kind of dialect. So Give it to me again. Kusistas. Kusistas. It's like the emphasis is on kusistas. Ah, kusistas. And so, 
Knedlach. Knedlach. So you will know what Knedlach are. I do. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not my favorite. Why should he know what Knedlach It's a Jewish knedlach. kind of delicacy, which is not my favorite thing on the planet. Ah. Yeah, no shame. No. But Kusistas, <laughs> Kusistas uh, are the Cape Malay donuts oh. that are spiced with cinnamon and anise seed and a light syrup with desiccated coconut on the top. So, so it's good sisters with personality. Yeah. Ah. Lots of personality. I mean, and it's, it's a real reflection of the Cape Town culture, the Cape Town, you know, everybody who's landed up in Cape Town over the 350, 400 years yeah. of things happening. It's very weird how we coordinate today. Eh? I know. Because I'm thinking about it, I'm looking at you and it's distracting me. I'm like, man, are we wearing the same colors or am I imagining things? Now tell me, you wrote this play and you starred in it. It's your one man show. Yeah. What was that like? Like, were you able to easily kill your darlings? Uh, <laughs> it was really hard um, because obviously the story is based on my true life story of marrying a Jewish guy mm. and who's RJ Benjamin. <laughs> and um, <laughs> just in Name case drop. they're wondering. And it was what was tricky about it is that it was such because it was based on such a personal thing. It was really difficult to uh, get out of the personal headspace and just be like, you are just the actor, yeah. and you have to tell the story as truthfully as possible. Yeah. Whatever else is going on, and however old the story is to you personally, the the people who are coming to watch it, this is the first time that they're seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure a lot of the there's a lot of uh, of this in the in the play, but are you as a human being marrying a Jewish guy? Sorry, Timmy, we're just chewing here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, and not I don't often get to school you in, but how how much of a culture shock was it? How Jewish is he? Do you guys do Shabbat? What's what's the What's the measure? Yeah, I know. I also don't want to offend my um, Jewish tribes people, <laughs> but um, he's Jewish. Ish, <laughs> right. Okay. Ish. <laughs> so um, we don't keep Shabbat at okay. home, um, but uh, his mom does, and it's always very interesting going to his family and. and it's a completely different world. Like, did you know that you can't mix milk and meat products? Yes, I know this. I have many Jewish friends. Why do you think I've see, got money? See, <laughs> yes, yeah. I woke up late. <laughs> I woke up very late. <laughs> um, yeah. But, but I mean, have you guys talked about, I mean, you know, because isn't it your people then when the baby boy is still a baby, then you... Yes. So what's the story with you guys? I mean, what's going to happen there? I don't know. Are you not I don't know. I'm hoping that we just have girls. So that I don't have to make that decision. Cause but the thing is also, I'm not Jewish, so the children won't be Jewish anyway. Uh, like technically, if you want hey! to, like technical. I think I've started uh, marital problems here. So let's go for an ad break while she quickly calls RJ. <laughs> when you return, we'll get more personal with Chantel. Don't move. Hashtag WTF to me. We are on our best behavior. Please do show us some love on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The handle is at WTF to me. We are hanging out with Chantel Stanfield, the person of Mr. RJ Benjamin. <laughs> but she's doing her own thing, so she doesn't need to be introduced as the person of anybody. So tell us, because now hearts are breaking now. They're going, oh, he wasn't joking. He really <laughs> is taken. How did you guys meet? Uh, so, long story short, uh, it started off as a, a Twitter romance. I know that sounds really dodgy, but <laughs> literally, um, I've been a fan of his music. Okay. And I was in Turkey doing uh, a three, a six month like, tribute show vibe. Mm. And on one of these long trips to the next um, show, I was listening to his music on my phone. Okay. And then I was like, it's in the middle of the contract in Turkey. It's beautiful outside, but missing home. And then I just tweeted him about how this particular song reminded me of home, made me miss Joburg and you know, that kind of thing. He tweets back. Oh, is this a DM? Is no, this a DM or is this public? Yet. This is still public. And I was oh. like, oh, he's tweeting me back. What so he saw your avatar. Yeah. He probably saw the avatar. was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but the crazy thing is because of the industry in Joburg, especially, we've, we've bumped into each other before at various gigs or whatever. Then the next thing you so, were bumping mm -hmm. together in Rivi. <laughs> in RL, in RL. Uh -huh. How did you propose? Uh, let's just say it was very romantic and very private, but it was beautiful. Oh, 
Doesn't it sound like they were both naked when it happened? <laughs> no, that's very cool. beautiful. Very romantic. Very, very yeah, private. The, I just I picture a game reserve and just naked. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Not quite, but yeah. Me, Adam, you, Eve. So we're never going to hear the story of the proposal. Fine. No, no. Um, how how do you? Because uh, it's it's always an interesting one when two when two people in the couple are both, you know, doing their thing. Mm. How do you deal with the attention that he gets from ladies such as yourself? Oh, I haven't thought of that. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, they are really not doing well for their marriage. He, <laughs> no, he must deal with it however he deals with it and I deal with it however I deal with it. And oh, really? Yeah. But That's the level of comfort. Yeah, because it's really par for the course as quote-unquote public figures or whatever. Mm. There's a tension that comes with it, negative or positive. Um, and if it gets a bit much, then we obviously share. But if it's something little, a little stupid DM or whatever, it's like, oh, this is stupid. Oh, oh, or something like the other day, Someone said something in my DMs. I was like, love, look at this. And he's like, that's stupid. I'm like, yeah, exactly. And I went on with my thing. So it's that kind of thing where Right, it's very open, honest. Yeah. Does he never feel the need to respond when someone is like, I could marry you. Those legs that go on forever. I want to be there. He, not yet. He hasn't yet done, done that in public. In private, you'll be like, does this guy know that you... How comfortable are these guys as a couple? I know, I'm Isn't learning. this couple goals? Like, you see, <laughs> I told you this thing of you I'm freaking learning. out every time, Glenn. It's not going to work for you. About uh, freaking out yes. about what? About, about your girlfriend? Uh, no, I, I, I mean, uh, well, I mean, r I haven't, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm actually, this by is the why. way, uh, single, <laughs> single, publicly uh, uh, stating that I am now single. Uh, Public proposition. Uh, so, I mean, no. no. <laughs> it's not about you, it's about Chantal. Sorry. I already have a Jewish guy, Claire. I know, I know, I know in another lifetime. Sorry. Unless she's into polyandry. No, not no, yet. Not no. yet. <laughs> um, I think we should go into hashtag top three. What Let's do you do think? Now, this game allows me to invade the celebrity guest's privacy a little bit for three things that they need to explain. Based on the spinning wheel, the options are A, the guest must allow me to read out loud her last three Twitter DMs, B, invade her handbag for three items. Or C, explain three DMs posted on Instagram. Are you ready, Chantal? <laughs> Let's spin the wheel. Oh, Yay! a handbag. We haven't had a handbag in a while. We haven't had a handbag Yay! in ages, to me. This is an interesting very, feel. Very it's beautiful <laughs> handbag. I'm going to cross you if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay. So tell, tell me, do you and your guy have to schedule like time to see each other? Or does it happen naturally? It just happens naturally. Um, unless we all, we're both hectically busy. Oh, no, you wait, no, hang on, on a bloody that. second now. Listen, where a that, girl's got to be prepared. Oh, okay. wait, hang on now. How Which cute size? are her boobies? No. I wish I had boobies but, like this. You know, they're they, like, no. they kind of are. But know. why? Uh, how, what, is that for sleepovers? But you're ready now. Is it for, who is that and for? And it's padded so that she has extra. Exactly, because. Okay. But those are so cute. Look at how adorable. It's middle. like a toy. But it's because. This you can cover just one of my boobs. <laughs> 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 Why do you travel with your bra I don't your usually, but I was trying to figure out if that one would work better with this dress than the one that I have on. So I oh. packed it just in case. So okay. you do have one on? Yes. Uh, that's a good thing. It's good that I didn't, uh, they look completely, I'm not looking. Uh, to me, over to you. Oh, you need to, this is that expensive, is, eh? Yeah, but that is like Every girl should an have elixir. This. It is the best. Okay, cool. And then, how much energy do you need, Shama? <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought I'm picking out a toy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chantel so is terribly well behaved. Yeah. No, I, I was, was going to so say that still gives you energy. Both give you energy. So you could multi purpose. Oh, is it That's what I'm talking well, about. Glenn, and who are you crushing on this week? Other than Chantal, my mega crush Monday, today is Rachel Khaleesi, wife of Springbok captain Sia Khaleesi, not to be confused with mother of dragons Daenerys Targaryen Khaleesi. Rachel set Black Twitter alight with a tweet uh, asking, well, she set Black Twitter alight with a tweet from a tweep asking from her man. So there was a guy, this, this woman, Anele underscore co, who, aptly, who is aptly named the Devil's Spawn. She tweeted, who uh, would you put, would you pursue someone in a happy relationship? Then Yonela responded, no. Then 
the plot thickens. Uh, she added, although Sia Colisi seems like a type, kissy emoji, OMG. What followed was then a dressing down from Springbok captain's wife, which started like this. He's not a type, he's a married man responsible for four children. Then she added, I watched a local TV show last week where a local celeb was encouraged, uh, encouraging her friend uh, to go on a date slash hook up with Sia Khaleesi. Had to rewind uh, a few times to make sure I heard right. Then she added, ending off by saying, just a side note, I've been there for all the good times, but I've also been there for all the bad times. Honestly, this should go without saying, respect my relationship and woman to woman, respect me. Sure. Well, there you have it. Good stuff. Captain Sia, this proves the age-old saying that once you go white, black chicks will fight. Sick when at land. Sick when at land. Yes, sick. Anyway, now I, I think, I think you thought that they think that she thought it was our show, but it wasn't. I'm not the hostess. No, to me, I re what I really think is Sia and Rachel are stuck between rocks and a hard place. Ah! That's ah! what I'm ah! Ah! Well, Game of Thrones. Let's see who'll queen that one. Time for another oh. ad break. We'll be back for more with Chantel. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Hashtag WTF to me and we are hanging out with Chantal Stanfield. Let's talk about your music, darling. Yes. Yes. I hear you really... Was it in April that you released um, the... Uh, walk It nothing? Off. What, what? Well, there's two out right now. So Walk It Off, I think, came out in March. Okay. Which is more like... I call it like the funk track because it yeah. has really deep funk elements, late 80s pop kind of vibe. And then the most recent one is called Nothing There, which we released two weeks ago yeah. on the 15th of June everywhere. And that I've, that's more of like a deep soulful house track. Um, and I love them both. I should probably release an EP or something at some point. Uh, but right now I'm just really loving like yeah. creating music. Are you ever like, Bay, Bay, Kalebo, come on? I, well, the crazy thing is it's very convenient to have RJ Benjamin uh, as a partner. Because <laughs> I've been like, because he's um, produced the music. I've I've written it. He's done the music for my stuff, um, and I know all the behind the scenes music industry stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's been really cool. Mm -hmm. um, we we've only done one duet, but I think that's as far as it can go. Because actually working together as like for me to be his backing vocalist, I, it's difficult. Because then I'm like, no, but now I'm working for you. <laughs> And, and you're the queen. Is just to clear we can this. we can be here. But yeah, I love it. Well, it's time for us to welcome our second guest. She is a Golden Horn winner for Best Supporting Actress in a Feature Film. She stars with Chantal in the upcoming drama film Farewell, Ella Bella. Please help me welcome Marianne Barlow. <laughs> Can I give you a little kiss? Are you? Nah. Please spin the wheel. I'm nervous. <laughs> Just a light little something, you'll be okay. Grab a seat. <laughs> no need to be nervous, <laughs> darling. <laughs> And Glenn, what is the lovely lady drinking? So I don't know if you know this about Marianne, but she's always wanted to be a Bond girl, darling. <laughs> ah. uh, so I've made her a classic Bond drink martini. Aww. Shaken, not stirred, but it is non-alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, and we got the cue from your surname, which is Bar Low. Low. <laughs> Low. Not a lot of alcohol. Aww. For Maybe me. she should have actually been renamed Bar No. Well, that bar No. <laughs> no Bar. Well, Bar very oh, little to none you. alcohol <laughs> whatsoever. That does look beautiful. That's thank an you. absolute wow. pleasure. Cheers, cheers, everyone. Cheers, thank cheers. Cheers, cheers. Yeah. cheers. Wow. I've, also, I've also got, uh, because Chantal plays Sherry in Ella Bella. <laughs> oh! So I've also got some Sherry um, uh, here <laughs> just for, for everyone if you want to just pass that around. Oh, oh. is this dedicated uh, to Sherry? Yes, wow. exactly. Like Sorry, it. we haven't actually. Wow. There you Sherry. go. So step on that. Thank you, you like. thank you. Glenn, are you driving me home? Because some of us are on antibiotics. <gasps> oh, uh, yeah, I'll. Anyway, I'm going to be very responsible. South Africa, I'm crazy, but I'm responsible. I'm not <laughs> messing with my medication. Um, <laughs> would you... Uh, um, um, oh, wait. 
Oh, I know. I'm, 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 and then they're I'm like, hey, wait, I'm where's the thing? Trying strip not down. To look. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> strip down. <laughs> I mean, I've never been around for strip down. Is it? Wow. Yeah. She has and you never down. will be. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to take an item of clothing off. Clothing, or how about this very that's not big clothing, bangle? That's an accessory. That's huge. No, it's it an covers accessory. a lot of me. <laughs> Honey, we're not. This is not working. Mm. In right. five, four. Oh, uh, there it is. The magic shoe. There you go. Never. Magic shoe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you know oh. Glenn has a shoe fetish. I okay. do. Oh, no, oh, they are mine. Right. <laughs> you may not have it. <laughs> I'll let you get away with it. No, oh, thanks, guys. I'm fun. wearing very little, <laughs> despite it covering a large portion of my face. <laughs> I'm wearing very little. <laughs> you're a highly esteemed actress. I mean, people are excited to hear that you are coming here. Um, and I'm, I'm just curious. Would you, would you accept being a Bond girl if it was offered to you? <laughs> Well, the very idea of it is just so ludicrous that I guess I would have to say yes, because it's never going to happen. <laughs> um, Why do you say it's never going to happen? You're hot. Sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dear and lovely of you. But, um, well, you know, I could be open to, to perhaps being an older Bond girl. Yeah. Yeah, you know. D uh, yeah. Would you be in it for the sex scenes or? Because <laughs> I always feel like every Bond girl gets to get with Bond and we all love whatever Ooh. Bond is out there at that time would depend largely on who the bond is yeah. let's yeah. be honest who's hey. your favorite bond oh no listen i grow i mean i'm giving away my age here but i mean i suppose why you came upon this little pearl of information comes from a very very long time ago um i loved roger moore yes i agree roger, roger moore. moore i did yes. love roger moore i mean sean connery gorgeous classic bond i mean you can't you know yeah. he is the original really for most people but yeah. i loved roger moore yeah i did there was a quick to roger moore i'm giving away my age now <laughs> but also i love <laughs> <laughs> okay, I watched movies when I was <laughs> young. Anyway, um, great. Congrats on your engagement, by the way. Thank you. See you. You're wearing some bling there. I am, I am. I yes, am so, so when's you. the big day? Are we invited? Glenn and I make very great guests. There you <laughs> go. I make a great bomber. You make a great, yes, thank you. Um, great virgin martini. martini. Thank yeah, absolutely. You. Virgin, uh, that's the martini. Virgin, no, virgin, virgin martini. Virgin, virgin, virgin martini. the martini. Right. Virgin yes. martini. Oh, oh. Yes. Um, and and, and South, Africa, uh, South Africa, this is not just any engagement. Uh, Marianne just scored herself a Ben 10. Do you know what a Ben 10 is? Not really, did she get a Ben 10? She's really? marrying one. What? What's Do you ben know what a Ben 10 is? No, I don't. Yeah, I I did, when I started the show, Aside I didn't know what a Ben 10 was. <laughs> <laughs> and now I do, and I will school you. Tell her. A Ben 10 is a, a, a man, a someone, a lover, slash a husband, slash boyfriend who is considerably younger than you. <gasps> oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Oh, oh good. You see, <laughs> I love how she owns it. Yeah. <laughs> So at the tender age of 44, I'm learning a lot. Oh, you're you. doing well, man. You're That's doing so great. Funny. Oh, gosh, I like her. She's playful. Let's play a game. He is younger. He is younger. Oh, we're doing a game already. Goodness. Okay. Oh, we're Let's do 30 seconds. Right. So this is the similar, very similar to the normal 30 seconds, mm. except this is called celebrity 30 seconds. So how it works is there will be teams, there will be uh, pictures of celebrities behind the guesser and the uh, explainer will have to try and explain as many of these celebrities in 30 seconds without saying their names. So um, Chantel, you and uh, Tumi will be together and myself and Marianne, I think. I don't know. Is that what yes, you want? That's right. I'll give yeah. you what you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll go first then. Okay, you guys go first. I'm so if you guess, you right over here. Okay. okay, and no looking behind you. Okay, are you ready? Your 30 <laughs> seconds. Oh, and the losers have to down this lemon juice. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Okay. I love lemon juice. Ready, <laughs> and 30 seconds starts now. Oh, monster. Uh, she wants to run. Yes. That's one. Next. Ooh, oh, ah, he was on the sitting go. He oh. is, he is. I think Portuguese or Greek. Emmanuel Castro. Yes. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Well he done. played my ex and I think. Oh, he's he's a comedian. He's got dreads. Um, he produced Bantu Awa. Um, <laughs> yes. Three. Okay. Next. You're doing so well. Uh, we just spoke about her being in those movies. Um, but which? Um, movies. <laughs> okay. Time. Ah. That was no, three. That was good. That was impressive. That was good. Oh, that was really good. good. That was yes. impressive. Would you like to Thank guess you. or oh, guess or explain? I shouldn't be given a choice. Okay, I'll explain. <laughs> I'll explain. Oh dear. Okay, you ready? Listen. Okay, here we are, Marianne. Now yeah. we have the no, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling too oh, much pressure. Okay, I really are you ready? No, no. Okay, no. we start. Go! 
Now, okay, okay, so you host the Daily Show, South African comedian. Uh, yes, no, I know him. He's, he's lovely. Fed, yes. I've forgotten uh, his name. So I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to. Ah, no, really. Okay, we won't choose that. Okay. 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 That's even worse. Okay. okay, he's a South African. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> No, no, we need to focus back, Marianne. Has that time started? No, no, Has we don't started? have much time okay. here. We need um, to focus. Pass. Can I pass? Yes, pass. Please pass. Okay. Pass. Okay. <laughs> you guys got zero. You guys got zero. Okay, it's fine. Where's that can we have juice? another round? No! Oh, okay, you, you go in. Okay, you go in. Okay. We'll have another sorry. round. Oh, okay. Sorry. We'll have another round. We'll have another round. We'll have another round. Oh, this is getting Fine, we panicked. <laughs> we all panicked and that's fine. Okay, so okay. far? Okay. okay, let's go. Ready? 30 seconds starts now. Okay. Um, God damn. Um, he's just come back from the UK. He's done a lot of comedic shows in the UK. Uh, Luis oh, Well yes, done. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that's one. Oh, oh damn. Goodness. Um, pass. Okay. Oh. Um, Tandeka, um, um, Masa Sampange. No. What, lady? Oh! Um, PJ Powers. Yes, well done. I couldn't get That's that two. Okay. So you're on five altogether. Ooh, oh. the current Bond guy. Oh. Tall, oh. blue eyes, blonde, married to Raquel. Oh. Ah. Okay, so that's two. Oh, no. Okay. Yes, yes, no, or... no, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, explain. I'll explain. I'll explain. Oh, so okay. We're going to get it. Sorry. Okay, here we go, Marianne. Here fire. we bloody go. We are not <laughs> downing that lemon juice. Ready and action. Okay, he's a comedian. Oh my word, then I went <laughs> up to the waterfront and the people were some asking me, can you believe it? And oh, I was no going. No flippant idea. I'm sorry, and no flippant idea. I thought I was like Polly <laughs> Philander. Oh, and my then Lord. they can asked me so can much, pass? can you pass? Pass. Okay, pass. pass? okay, okay, she's just finished Real Talk. She's also on uh, 94.7 in the morning. <laughs> Um, uh, um, you guys uh, are so bad. She, okay, pass, next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having the lemon juice. I'm gonna actually have that lemon Okay, we'll have the lemon juice oh, together. I'll have share it, it with I'll, you. I'll wow. hold on, because I'm fresh. Can we watch them down it? Oh, she's well down it like it's nothing. <laughs> well done. Oh my gosh. It is. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, why aren't you downing? Why aren't you downing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Len, why aren't you downing? You're the one who killed her in the first place. I know, no, I'll no, also no, have mine. I can take full responsibility No, he must also. Oh, goodness. Oh. Len's clone baby. That's not a whole lot. He's not your Ben 10. You left a little bit there. Time for another break. He left we have more when we return. <laughs> so horrible, man. <laughs> Welcome back. Here is. Hashtag VTF to me. Thank you for all the liefde on your social media. What <laughs> say you, Mainsies? <laughs> well, Chantel Stan looking beautiful and ravishing today on hashtag WTF to me. Lovely. Glenn's impression of Mark Lottering is spot on. Judging you, Marianne? Oh, my word. Judging no, 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 you? no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Oh, and then at WTF to me, love you, dear sister. Oh, I love you too. Somebody says Marianne and Glenn, ha, 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 tears dying on the floor. <laughs> you guys are killing them. Um, do you do private shows? I'm laughing so hard. I'm getting stomach cramps. Damn, LOL. Between <laughs> you two, I don't know who's being asked for private shows, but thank you for the <laughs> love. Marianne, you are traveling. You are doing things, Wena. Yes. We don't just see you on the Mabona Kudes. You are also doing live performance <laughs> things. So, what are you doing as an actor in Grahamstown? Ooh. Cutting my teeth on stage again. Oh, it's really? been many, many years yes. since I've actually had the privilege and the pleasure of doing something. <coughs> Excuse me. On <coughs> see, <coughs> that's how much rehearsal we've been doing. My, <laughs> my voice, my lovely TV voice is now finished. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece um, called The Revlon Girl. And we will be debuting at Grahamstown, and then we have a lovely run later on in the year in Johannesburg. So, all right. Yeah. So, if you're going to Grahamstown Arts Festival, you heard her, celebrity. You get autographs. You get to watch <laughs> live shows. It's wonderful. Tell me, what's the worst movie you've ever done? Oh, that can would be giving away. Can you say that? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, do you know what? I can't say that there's anything that's been the worst. To be honest, um, you you learn something valuable from 
everything you do, even if it's a load of rubbish. Even like like Winnie Mandela movie. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Um, how was that experience? <laughs> No, we are not talking about that. Okay, but what we will talk about is Farewell Ella Bella. Mm. Because both of you guys are, uh, are on that movie. Congratulations, it looks amazing. But I would like to play you something uh, from the last time two guests were here from Farewell Ella Bella. This is what happened, no pressure. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I mean... That's what happens when... And oh, rivers flowing. <laughs> um, so look, it's a, I said, sorry, stop us Yeah. I meant that's the core. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, sure. care, care to... Uh, I mean... I mean... Are we supposed to... Well, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, apparently now it's time. I mean. The band, the standard, it's been set. It's been set. It's my first on-screen kiss with a girl. Glenn, okay. breathe. Glenn, okay. it's you, Maria. Glenn, no. Uh, are oh, oh, we doing it again? Just this more one, just this more one. Okay. This is no three. Time. No time, no time. No, this more one. one. Oh. oh. I think so. What is going lipstick. on? Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the lipstick is sticky. So I, yeah. think, I think Glenn has a semi. So to help him calm down, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna introduce, that. Should, I, should I bring someone in so we can play a game so you can calm down? I think let's do it. All right, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, I think we should play one more game to help us play hashtag never that. Please welcome Zoe Mudija. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? Uh, good to see you. Good to see you this too. is yours. <laughs> and he has a drink for you. Yeah, no. no. How did they? Like, I'm dude. so sorry. I'm so Everybody, sorry. Everybody, I don't think it's even you. I was just like, what is Medea doing on the screen? <laughs> I, I could hear South Africa screaming, Madea. Yeah, sorry. I haven't. Someone was screaming, Madea. Whose mic is dead? Whose mic is dead? Who can't we hear? Okay, can you uh, please grab the mic, Malik? Yes. Apparently, South Africa is not hearing somebody proper. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's play hashtag never that. Right. So I'm going to ask a, bust a bunch of questions. A bust of questions. Yes. <laughs> a bunch of questions. And if they have done it, they will swing their bat to say yes. And if they have never done it, they will swing their bat to say never that. Let's play the game. Just to get, let you guys know, we've done our research. We've asked your significant others whether you have or haven't, so we know if you're lying or not, and I will be there to judge. Oh. So I'm all, oh. that's my job in this game. Oh, okay. I'm watching you all very carefully. Glenn, this is awkward. Do you have we've the questions? Warned. Okay, I have the questions. Oh. Right, first question. Never have I ever Googled myself. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I have to. What did you find out that you didn't like or that wasn't true? Um, geez, people have been quite kind to me, actually. Oh. I don't oh. know, I've gotten like the stroke of sunlight and rainbows. You well, okay. I mean, you Look dress you like that. sunlight and rain. <laughs> and Fair you enough. guys, let's hear from you, Chantel. Like bad stuff. Nothing bad. No. Nothing untrue? Nothing untrue. Marianne? Oh, I've seen some horrendous photographs. <laughs> You're no, judging not, yourself. You know, You're the typical no, hot really, girl who's like, oh my gosh, it's not my face. No, like really Ella. horrendous photographs. And I go, how did they get there? <laughs> who put them there? They're dreadful. <laughs> they must go. Never have I ever had my card declined. <laughs> Swipe <laughs> and the card declined. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for shame, man. Oh, At the end, you look so responsible. I what am, happened? I am. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I'm judging <laughs> you. Magnetic uh, issues. Magnetic issues. Yeah. <laughs> and you, Chantal? Ah, Are I'm you taking chances? No, but like, you know, the industry does this and that, man. Oh. <laughs> so you were on and that then you were like, oh, oh, suddenly it hasn't gone through. Oh, never mind. I'll come back tomorrow. Ah, but now you're married to RJ. I'm so it's all good. Man. <laughs> that thing every time. She and she's it. just done a major commercial. So she yes. is. Drinks on her this weekend, if you see her. Thanks for hooking yeah. me up, <laughs> Drinks on, uh, I'm so sorry. And you, Zoe? Yeah, man. Same roller coaster riders. He was talking about. Wow. I, I, I wouldn't know. Never, ah. <laughs> uh, never have I ever undressed a famous person with my eyes. 
<laughs> of the I, earth. Is there anything these girls have not done? I love them. They have limbs. Well, what do you mean by undress? <laughs> undress them with your eyes. Visualize. You know when you sex yeah. someone with your eyes and you've undressed them and you've done them, you've finished with them before they... You know like when you walked out yeah, and then you saw... Oh, not bad for. <laughs> I think I'm team underrated. So I would have done that, but not for someone popular. Like oh. I'm, 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 from, I'm for the under... Underdog. The underdog. Oh. I'm really attracted to that. Damn so girl, you're making us all look like. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's just perfect. Maybe I'm an underdog. Is there someone we can know as an international? Oh, loads. Also? No, absolutely loads. Like I'm who? a bit of a sucker for those British men. Oh, is it? Mm. Mm. Genre, period piece. Oh. Yeah, down ten yeah. Tell me, Ben Ten is having fun. Yeah. <laughs> ben Ten probably gets to dress up in 1800s outfits. Hey, <laughs> hey she's deep. Victorian what what? Victorian what what? Fifty Shades of Victorian times. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's the same. I mean, both locally and internationally. But um, right now, Michael B. Jordan is quite a snack. Yeah, it's quite a hmm. snack. A snack. Snack. Yeah. It's a bit of a he snack. snack. <laughs> yeah, snack. It's a snack. Learning things, eh? Kid, the How you've learned two words. Painting, snack. snack. Whoa. I'm <laughs> going oh. snack. You're going to be okay. lit after this. Uh, I <laughs> Am I? <laughs> I don't know. I have yeah. to be honest. I do it all the time with snack music because he looks so thick and oh. hard. And you're like, mm. <laughs> Anyway. Um, never have I ever been jealous of a friend. Oh, wow. Oh, totes. Really? Again, it comes as part of the industry, but it, mm. it, it, it comes from a place of um, like insecurity. Okay. Or even if you have auditioned for something yeah. and you know <laughs> you, know you should have gotten that. Yeah. Mm. And then you don't, you're like, ah. Yeah. Mm. And you, Zoe? Jeez, that's not nice to admit. But I think <laughs> it comes from like a mixture of insecurity and admiration. So mm. it's just like that feeling that you never want to admit you ever have for anyone. But yeah. it's like, damn, okay, yes. I've had this feeling. Wow, mm -hmm. this is getting uh, getting quite deep, and I quite like it. You know, sometimes it's okay for the show to go deep. into yeah into emotional okay, places. Okay, Glenn, stop it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever been caught watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> Never that. Also, Never. you have watched it. You just haven't. Never been caught. Never been caught. Never been caught. Never that. Never. Never that. <laughs> What's your trick for not getting caught? Don't watch. Just don't watch. Hi, <laughs> the way you're sipping that thing. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Tell us the truth. <laughs> so where do you watch it? Is it like website? No. Video? no. Hey, guys. Didn't yeah. we all have eat Emmanuel back in the day? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Oh, come hey. on. Hey, guys. Oh, come She's on. absolutely don't right. Don't judge me. I, I, no, gonna, all of y'all. All of y'all. I'm going to have to vouch with... I am right. not the only person wasting data on Pornhub. <laughs> now, it's time for one last ad break. After the break, Zoe Mudicha takes the stage. Don't move. Uh, <laughs> I am... Welcome back to hashtag WTF to me. Please share your thoughts off the show and on the show using the hashtag WTF to me. Before I take you to Glenn quickly, I am chosen, says uh, Emmanuel. Ha ha ha. Volumes are always at zero. So they agree with you that Emmanuel was a thing. Glenn is hanging out with Zoe Mudicha by the bar, by the stage, by the jacuzzi. <laughs> Zoe, I just like to say you're looking absolutely beautiful. Thank you. But more importantly, I don't know if you can get a shot of these shoes but honestly i don't do this often i must just say uh, these are absolutely oh come on now but, uh, before before we actually get started i would like to ask why were you shoving a mic in this woman's face can we just have a look at this picture oh geez man oh it's over there oh it's over there I was, I was, oh man, that was such an awesome time. It was actually the last uh, Huma Segela Heritage uh, Festival um, since his lifetime. Um, and it was a great time to meet him and we were having fun. I do this crazy thing. I mean, you're going to see something very acoustic now, but I jump up and down like a Duracell bunny. So this was me off stage and this lady was just like, fam, come, I'm going to sing. And I was like, yes, ma'am, let's and do it. Was it, to, was it one, to one of your songs? Yes. Beautiful. So you like to get involved in the crowd when they... Yeah, see their sweat beads, see my sweat beads. Just 
or have sweat beads. I love that. And uh, what, you've got a, a new, uh, well, an album that's come out, um, uh, the, uh, the novel, uh, Yellow, the novel. Yes. And you're wearing yellow right now. Uh, what? Tell me about, about it. How's it going? Um, so Yellow the Novel was released last year in March um, and I've been lucky enough to have been nominated for Best African Artist Mazel and Tov. Best Jazz Album for the summer. So I was like, whoa! Well done. As an independent artist, that really was uh, an affirming moment for me. And as a young musician um, who kind of is trying to figure out this whole thing and still show, you know, a lot of love and passion and move and evoke people, you know, it was a beautiful thing. Because you, you've been doing this for 13 years now, but only sort of professionally for a year. What was the breakthrough that you had? What, 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 what was the difference between the, the other 12 years and this professional year that you said? Um, I feel like I was spending the 12 years kind of honing my craft. Um, and I'd gotten a lot of classical training in clarinet, uh, piano and singing. And then um, I went to study jazz. Um, and I just thought it was a good time to also find my voice, see where it is that I fit in the world. What do I want to be known for? What do I want to represent? Um, and it was a good time to do that. And by the time the work was put together, it was like, what's up? You're out ready. There. And you've got a live festival. You've got a festival coming up, Basha Uhuru. Yes. Where is it? When is it? And what can we expect? So Basha Uhuru is a festival that happens every single year and it commemorates the youth of 1976. Um, and what better place than uh, the Constitutional Hill for it to happen? Um, it's going to have a lot of amazing young creatives. Um, there's going to be people in film and obviously us the musicians, Yoshoma Josies, something so it's to name a few, but it's going to be brilliant. And that's on the 30th of June. 30th of June. Which is this Saturday. Yes. So go and get your tickets. Uh, it's going to be great. Have you got a backup dancer, or do you? Do you or I just, I just want to know, just for general. Look, man. I mean, I'm open to the vibe. Okay. Well, I might audition for you. Shots. Let's do that. So let's Done. do that. To me, over to you. Well, she prepares Woo herself for lovely okay. zone. Okay. So we see Glenn wants to go and dance go Basha Uhuru Festival. I'd like to send a shout out to my guests tonight, Shintan Stanfield and Marianne Barlow. Tomorrow night, we're having a drink with comedians Barry Hilton and Skalk Poseidonhout. From myself and Glenn, adios amigos. Here is Zoe Mudija with ya Kalin Como.
Tinu mama bo. Watinu mama ya pinde futi ya kali kombo. Zabu. Zisa 